Hey Luigi, what's poppin'? Spider-Man 3 speculates Doc Ock's return, Godzilla vs. Kong is in a bidding war, and Ahsoka Tano is finally revealed. Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of What's Poppin', the show where we give you all the latest in movie and TV news. This episode is going to be jam-packed with the most headlines we've had to date, so let's get right into it. Starting off with some Spider-Man 3 hype news. We have Ooh. speculation that Alfred Molina from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies might be back as Doc Ock. So what? This is coming from some articles speculating that he's been seen on set doing some stunt work. This is pretty crazy. I think in That's Georgia. That's insane. So I wanted to speculate this because this is what I think is going to happen with the films. So I think mm -hmm. it's going to be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock. Mm -hmm. And then they're just going to be sucked out of their universe and brought into Tom Holland's universe. So I think mm -hmm. that's why he's going to bring him. Same thing is going to happen with Electro, uh, Jamie Foxx, and Andrew Garfield's mm -hmm. Spider-Man. So both of them yeah, are going to be yeah. sucked into Spider-Man 3. I think so that nice. that's the, the best way you could yeah. possibly like, bring in those villains mm -hmm. with them. Absolutely. Um, but that's speculative, but Absolutely. really exciting, in my mm -hmm. opinion. For sure. One of the coolest stories this mm -hmm. week. Next up, we have Ari Aster, the creator of Hereditary and mm -hmm. Midsummer, sets his next film, Bo is Afraid. And guess what? He is thinking about getting Joaquin Phoenix, yes, none other than the Joker Huge. himself, to play the titular mm -hmm. role of the main character. We'll see, and we'll keep you updated on that, mm -hmm. but it's very interesting. Next mm -hmm. up, Warner Brothers is hinting at HBO Max launching in India. So oh, for all nice. our Indian viewers out mm -hmm. there, HBO Max is coming. Nice, nice, cool. And Next then, up. Oh, we're gonna, this is the big one, right? We're gonna this get into the it now? One. Okay. This is the, oh, for those let's of you get Mandalorian in. fans, this is huge spoilers. We have Whoop. Ahsoka Tano has finally been revealed. And yes. it was a huge episode for the last week's episode five of Mandalorian. In season two, huge name drops, lots of lore being thrown around. And this is a great time to be a Star Wars fan. A lot of people in the community talking about, you know, cool names and how their excitement's kind of revitalized with this episode. It feels like classic, you know, uh, precursor Star Wars, you know, the sequel trilogy. But we have right. live cast at Ahsoka. Awesome episode. What do you think, man? What's the future for what, Star Wars? What I loved about it personally was the fact that it was like they started with Ahsoka. They didn't like wait till the end of the episode to mm -hmm. show her. It was like, Off boom, the right bat. at the start. Yep. Let's get let's get a cool review of her. And then there was a little bit more like throughout the story and I don't want to say too much, but she was revealed. It was amazing and it was really cool. I want to go through this Mace mm -hmm. Windu theory that yeah. showed up on mm -hmm. YouTube this week that they're speculating that Ahsoka is, since she's not a Jedi right now, that technically baby Yoda has to be returned to the Jedi order mm -hmm. and that she's going to take it to somebody who's more fit to take care of him. And people are speculating Mace Windu. Some people are speculating Luke Skywalker. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But all I know is that in episode six, maybe episode seven, because sometimes yeah. we like to take a break in between, yeah. we're going to see something big revealed. And I thought Ahsoka was big, but we're going to mm -hmm. get something bigger. Um, next up, we have a major story. Last week, we talked about Ryan Reynolds. We're mm -hmm. talking about him again, mm -hmm. because we don't like to keep anything from you guys. But <laughs> Ryan Reynolds apparently gave in to Kevin Feige's calls for more diversity. Mm -hmm. And they're no longer writing Deadpool 3 with the original writers, Rhett Reese and Paul Vernick. Now they're going with the some of the creators of uh, Bob's Burgers, which is Wendy Molinex and mm -hmm. Lizzie Molinex, the sisters. Ah, yes. And apparently there's a lot of controversy because people were saying like, oh, these they basically gave it to these chicks because they're women, even though the two other writers were the ones that originally started with Ryan Reynolds and made over a billion dollars for that franchise mm -hmm. as far as Deadpool. So it's an interesting story, and I just wanted to throw it out there because we hyped up Ryan Reynolds so much, but now he's getting backlash because people yeah. are saying he gave in. And apparently Kevin Feige likes to control everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy story. Um, sure. Next up, the Royals are kicking themselves for not consulting Netflix as the crown reaches the Diana years. Oh, Simple wow. story. Mm -hmm. Not too much there, but mm -hmm. just interesting, like, being themselves about it. Yeah. Next up, big, 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 big news for Rick and Morty fans. You can now purchase the Butter Robot. That's right. The robot that passes <laughs> you butter can butter be purchased. Pot. By, by fans, which there is insane is. to think about that a, a, a TV show that you watch is actually coming out with something that they created for the show. It's insane. Mm -hmm. um, next up, <laughs> big news coming from The Eternals. The comic book series that is attached to the movie has their series uh, trailer dropped. So the, if you're a fan of the comics, there oh, is going to be yeah. a tie-in with those, uh, with the movie The Eternals. So they're oh, kind of setting nice. up the franchise. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I'll be getting um, that for sure. <laughs> 
I, I'm interested to see yeah. how that turns out. I don't mm -hmm. read too many comics, but uh, I'm more of a DC guy when it comes to reading yeah, comics, I am. honestly. Up next, we have some first look at Tom Holland and Apple TV's soldier drama, Cherry. So this is from the Russo brothers, I believe. And uh, there was also another funny thing that they were saying all Spider-Men have now been in a military role, which I saw that kind of funny. Yeah. So, but here we go. Here's the first look of him in the role. It's going to be about a soldier that deals with PTSD, but it should be another pivotal role, you know, stretching out the actor from his Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man image. So I'm excited to see this. I, I, I don't have Apple TV Plus though, but I'll check it out one way. I will check it I out because I want to tell you it goes deeper than just the PTSD. So apparently mm -hmm. he gets addicted to the medicine and he starts robbing banks to pay for the medicine. Oh, wow. So it's nuts. That sounds awesome. crazy. That's, yeah. It's a crazy mm -hmm. story. Um, next up, some big Joker 2 news. Mm -hmm. uh, Arkham Asylum is apparently going to be playing a major role in Joker 2. They're saying that there's also a TV series in the works as well as the second movie. So that the, the TV series might touch on Arkham as well. But there's going to be a lot more villains introduced probably in that story as far as mm -hmm. origin stories. We're going to see how that plays out. But Joaquin is coming back, so it should be really, really good. Mm -hmm. Lastly, before we wrap up here, we want to tell you guys to like, subscribe, comment. What your favorite story has been? What has been interesting this week? So much news. Mm -hmm. It's been jam-packed, and yeah. we're not done yet. We're, we're going to keep going. Next up, we have John Boyega talking to the president of Lucasfilms, Kathleen Kennedy, following his remarks that the franchise was a little racist, mm -hmm. um, basically saying that he didn't like the fact that they had originally told him that he was going to play a much larger mm -hmm. role yeah. in the franchise at the start. They said... He was the future of Star Wars, right? Until yeah. when the first movie dropped. And mm -hmm. then at, by the end of it, he was pretty much like a sideline character. Yeah. So he was just kind of disappointed about that. But it was nice to know that the, you know, the president of a company like Lucasfilms would go take the time to call him and then talk to him about that yeah. to see how he felt. And maybe they could improve, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have some Godzilla vs. Kong news. When it comes to the release of this film, there is a bidding war with streaming services right now between... HBO Max and even Netflix, they're trying to offer to buy the film, even though this is a Warner Brothers film, which connects with HBO. Hopefully we'll see. Either way, I think we'll be getting this film on a streaming service, which is pretty exciting because I personally am hyped for this film. But Netflix offers $200 million. Um, HBO Max is preparing its own offer right here from Fandom on Twitter. But they yeah. might just keep it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if HBO Max just keeps the movie for themselves. I yeah. think they're waiting to mm -hmm. see how the theater um opens up next year like mm -hmm. the as they start to open up business again yeah but i think they'll probably just keep it and send it to max mm -hmm. um next up disney finally shows us the first look at remy's ratatouille adventure <laughs> coming to epcot in 2021 an interesting tie-in here with remy and ratatouille on tiktok mm -hmm. uh, if you watch tiktok mm -hmm. you look up remy the musical uh, <laughs> yeah yeah we're trying to make a ratatouille musical on huh. tiktok and honestly it is crazy. Some of the songs the are absolutely out of this world. The effort, yeah. the, the, the the playbill is so beautiful. It's yeah. literally like Ratatouille uh -huh. in the outline of a rat. And it's yeah. such a cool little like thing. Mm -hmm. There's so many cool things. So many cool absolutely. things that people have done. But I just mm -hmm. wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. And I wanted to throw it out there while we're talking about animals and rodents. Because there's a big major movie coming out next big. year. That's right. That was good. Big. And I'm talking about huge. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about Clifford <laughs> Big Red Dog huge. And that's right. Oh, that's right. Man. Because that's what this story is about. <laughs> live action. Live action adaptation of Clifford <laughs> the Big Red Dog. What? what? Again. Who is greenlighting these for. projects? <laughs> like, like Tom and Jerry last week, guys. Nothing we asked for. Nor did we need. But they have. it's literally just the right. dog that they sized up. And put the hue filter <laughs> red. to red. <laughs> yeah, right. They right, have a little trailer exactly. here. It looks so corny, but hey, it's so funny for all the kids. You know what I mean? Enjoy it. Right for all the kids. Next up, Josh Whedon has left the Nevers show because of the Justice League investigation. Nobody is gonna say that it was because of that, but Ray Fisher mm -hmm. came out and said, "I'm yeah. not gonna let this guy leave the show without me saying that this is what it was about." Ray Fisher. Cyborg on the Justice League had said that Josh Whedon came in after Zack Snyder and made the whole franchise toxic. The workplace was toxic. That's what I heard, um, yeah. Jason Momoa has backed that up, and I believe mm -hmm. somebody else. But basically, Josh Whedon, after the investigation now, was finished. They released him from the Nevers show, and he's no longer a part of that. Crazy, mm -hmm. right? How mm -hmm. an actor coming out can literally change the outcome of what Huge, happens to yeah. the director. Up next, Huge, we have some yeah. more Mads Mikkelsen news when it comes to Hannibal Season 4. They want to connect the two Science of the Lambs, considering it is a prequel. We hope for those of you that are fans of the show, he does a great job of playing Hannibal. Hopefully it connects and uh, we'll see what happens. What season three ended in 2015. 
So, oh, wow. wow. New so trying to bring it back. Yeah, a little reboot, but continuing on the story. So I believe the other guy who was on the show, the detective, was like, we just need somebody to play Buffalo Bill. That's what oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as Mads Mikkelsen is concerned, he is officially replacing Johnny Depp. I know okay. we reported that mm -hmm. uh, last, like, two weeks ago. It's happening. Um, or last week, but it's happening. It's officially happening. Grindelwald will now be played by Mads Mikkelsen. Um, and last two stories here, before we get into our recommendations, we'll try to make them as fast as possible. The Futurama cast wants to revive the show. Everybody on the show is like, let's do it. We're interested. Oh, what? Someone write okay. something. Uh -huh. Futurama might be coming back 2021. Yeah. Cool, I don't know. Cool. They haven't mm -hmm. said anything, but I'm speculating yeah. maybe. Um, and finally, oh, biggest go. news. Okay. Can you reveal it for okay. us? Right? <laughs> Lastly, we have... Multiverse of Madness has now begun production. Now, this is huge because we're getting into phase four and Elizabeth Olsen has started working on the on the movie. So I'm excited to see when the show comes out on Disney Plus so we can see how it all connects to the film. I'm sure it's going to be an insane tie in. How hyped are you for this? Dude? Going crazy. They were saying December. We were reporting December and yeah. then they said, let's start earlier mm -hmm. because this is going to be crazy. I'm mm -hmm. sure that movie is probably going to be the craziest one they've ever yeah, made. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, it's that one is Spider-Man 3. I think yeah. that one is Spider-Man 3. Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. it's the catalyst to Spider-Man 3. Absolutely. It's going to be great. Okay. That wraps up all our stories. Now let's get into our recommendation. Oh, From yes. Here. You can go first. What do you got for me, man? <laughs> I have a really cool documentary that I just mm -hmm. watched. Um, it's about D.B. Cooper, this guy mm -hmm. who hijacked a plane. And it's actually the only plane to ever be hijacked in America. Mm -hmm. And the case has been unsolved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The moment it happened. Nobody knows who D.B. Cooper is. Mm -hmm. The documentary goes into four different suspects, and it's actually really well made. So highly recommend it. Just came out on Thanksgiving. Um, check good. it out. Oh, cool. What about you? My recommendation for this week, guys, if you haven't already, check out Clone Wars, the cartoon. Ooh, and if yeah. you don't want to watch a lot of it since it's a long show, check out the last season. Of course, you'll be spoiling yourself, but with the connection to Mandalorian, you got to check it out. So it's going to be it great. season six or seven? I think it's seven. Either way, the last season is the one that connects right into Revenge of the Sith. Now with all the Mandalorian talk of, you know, other characters, they're referencing characters from Rebels. People are saying we want live action characters from there and Clone mm. Wars. It's it's crazy. The the fan service they're giving, you know, so pretty it's exciting. definitely going to be crazy. Um, and we're going to be covering it all here on what's popping. So make sure to tune in every week because we're going to be going over mm -hmm. everything. These episodes are going to only get more jam filled. And they're going to have <laughs> yeah. way more information. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So anyways, thanks you guys for tuning in. And now you know what's popping. Thank Bye, you guys so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>